Hey guys, this is Paul Potter with Crappie Fishing TV. Today in this episode, we're gonna go out here and show you the live scope settings I use to catch these crappie. It's coming up right now in this video. All right, so we're on Grand Lake today. Uh, had a few guide trips and then had uh, two days off. And uh, Dave, crappie killer Dave, happened to call me. He said he got a hold of some PVC. All we have to do is uh, drive a couple hours and cut it. It's just laying on the ground. All we gotta do is cut it and put it in the back of the truck. So I went over there, put some of these things together. Uh, we're gonna put some of them in Grand. We're gonna put some of them in Eufaula. So these things are pretty cool. You gotta come check them out because this is what's going in Grand Lake here pretty soon. the only thing frustrating about this stupid live scope is sometimes you'll just see a whole bunch of crappie down there but none of them bite but we got a solution for that I'll show you what that is right now there's one right there now they're biting better I've had a lot of people ask me since uh, one of the videos I made talking about how to live scope big crappie. I have a lot of comments and stuff, people asking me uh, what my live scope settings are and that. So we're gonna go through that in as much detail as we can right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about on this live scope is the gain. I always adjust my gain every single time I go fishing. And the way I like to set this gain is just a little bit grainy, so. As I'm going up, you'll see, I'm gonna take this gain and slowly adjust it up, and boom, there it started getting a little grainy. That's where I like it. The reason I like it a little grainy is because it's on the sensitive side, and it really allows me to see my jig a lot better and the fish a lot better. So the second thing that I'm adjusting is my color scheme. So if we go there, then we go to appearance, you'll see I'm using the blue color scheme. Now the reason I'm using the blue color scheme is because it allows you to see three pieces of information versus just two. So if you're using one of the color schemes that's just green and white, black and white, amber and white, you're only getting two colors, right? So with the original Panoptics blue, what you're getting is three colors. You can see the red, yellow, and then the blue. See like that fish right there? So, and what I recommend, this is the 93 SV Plus. What I recommend is on the 9 inch screen or smaller, I recommend using this blue color scheme so you can get that extra piece of information that you wouldn't get with the other color schemes. Because I'm using the blue screen, I also adjust my color gain. But if we go back in here to appearance and you go to color gain, it's set to default, but sometimes what I do is raise it up just a tad. So it's about 62, and what that's gonna do is allow these reds to stick out a little better uh, so I can see them more. So we'll go back. Uh, the TVG is set to off, and TVG, from what I understand, it's just a variable gain, and what it's used for is really deep fishing. So if you're fishing in 150, 200 feet, uh, that variable gain is gonna allow the gain to adjust in those deeper waters and keep it as clear as possible on your screen. But if you're fishing in less than you know, 100 feet of water um, all the time, which here on Grand Lake and most of the lakes in Oklahoma, you're going to be fishing in, in shallow water. Uh, you're going to want to leave that TVG off. Um, and if there's anybody that has any comments about that, let me know if there's a reason you actually turn that TVG on because I'd be interested in the, knowing why you turn that on versus off in a shallower uh, lake. Whenever I'm fishing, I have this sucker set on 30, so 25, 30. Whenever I'm searching for fish, what I like to do is set it on 40. That gives me...
Alright, that'll fix them. Alright, let's see if that helps them bite a little better. 